The Giant Turnip Every year, the children in Miss Honeywood's class grow some fruit and vegetables in the school garden. This year, they decided to grow lettuces, radishes, carrots, tomatoes, sunflowers, peas and turnips. In early spring, the children prepare the ground by digging and raking the soil. Later in the spring, when there was no danger of frost, they planted the seeds. In the summer, the children fed and watered the plants and pulled out all the weeds. When the children came back after their summer holiday, they found that all the fruit and vegetables had grown. But when they saw the turnip, they could hardly believe their eyes. It was taller than a giraffe and wider than an elephant. When Miss Honeywood had recovered from the shock, she asked, How are we going to get the turnip out? I know we could get a helicopter to pull it out, said Karen. Or we could get a crane to lift it, suggested Tariq, or a bulldozer to dig it up, said Kate. We could tie a rope around it and all pull together, suggested Samira. That's a good idea, said Miss Honeywood. Lee and Michael, go and get the long rope. The children tied the rope around the enormous turnip. The boys grabbed the rope first. They pulled and pulled with all their strength, but nothing happened. We are stronger than the boys, shouted the girls, and they grabbed the rope. They pulled and pulled with all their strength, but still the turnip would not move. Let's all try together, suggested Miss Honeywood. On the count of three, one, two, three, shouted the children, and they all pulled together, but the turnip still would not move. Just then, Larry arrived. Larry, shouted Tariq, we need your help. Larry ran to the end of the line and grabbed the rope. One, two, three, shouted the children, and they all pulled together. The turnip wobbled this way and that, and then it slowly moved. They pulled even harder, and at last the turnip rolled out of its hole and onto the grass. The class cheered and danced around with joy. The next day for lunch, Miss Honeywood's class had the biggest turnip feast ever, and there was enough left over for the whole school. The end. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the story. Don't forget to like and subscribe. More interesting stories are coming four days a week. Bye.